अल्टीमेट फोर्टी के पी सी बिल्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर हे गाइज विमल हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल ए लॉट ऑफ पीपल यूजली कीप लुकिंग टू बिल्ड गेमिंग पी सीज राइट एंड नो आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दोज प्रीमियम कैटेगरी बिल्स अराउंड वन लैख टू लैख रुपीज नहीं आई यूजली कीप गेटिंग ए लॉट ऑफ कमेंट्स इन माई पी सी बिल्ड वीडियोज आस्किंग लाइक विमल ब्रो वी हैव अ बिट ऑफ टाइट बजट कैन यू बिल्ड लाइक अफोर्डेबल कैटेगरी वैल्यू फॉर मनी पी सीज मे बी अराउंड फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड दैट इज वॉट विल बी डूइंग इन दिस वीडियो यू पीपल नो राइट वी बीन डूइंग सो मेनी बजट गेमिंग पी सी बिल्स every year i do amd edition intel edition this year unfortunately i couldn't do that is the reason i'm bringing back the budget pc builds on the channel so i've planned like multiple number of videos guys we'll be doing like different configurations around the same price like with the gpu without the gpu apu category builds and you people can watch these videos and get like proper idea which is the best build configuration for the price that you're paying so definitely guys stay tuned lots of interesting build videos will be dropping on the channel very soon and keeping that I said the build that we'll be doing in this particular video, right? It's a value for money killer APU build. I would say around forty thousand rupees, and that too will be using like a newer gen hardware, new platform, everything like DDR5 RAM, PCI Gen 4 SSDs, and also a brand new APU from AMD, guys. This is a Ryzen 8000 series APU. I'm pretty sure I haven't done a build using this APU, so you people also get like full information on what kind of performance you can expect for around like thirty-five to. Forty thousand rupees, and I'm telling you, right? It is actually like pretty decent. I would say without a GPU, also you can play most of your games at 1080p resolution with like 50 to 60 FPS. And I'm not talking about the regular, you know, FPS related games or esports games like Valorant, CS:GO. No, you can actually play proper AAA titles like GTA 5, Cyberpunk, and also like Spider-Man. All of these games with like a really smooth FPS at 1080p resolution. I'll show you people in this video. So before you move on and talk about the build. the configuration if you guys remember last week i was at bits pilani college hyderabad doing a dedicated pc build workshop so i met lots of college students we did like fun interactive sessions pc build competition as well i've met lots of followers and subscribers over there it was like a really nice day so one of the guy over there actually gifted me this very nice 3d printed amd logo look at this guys pretty nice right the guy himself 3d printed it in one of his engineering projects so dev if you're watching this video thank you for this i'll definitely put it in my studio setup so keeping that aside to make this video more interesting right guys i have a special giveaway organized for you people so if this video crosses like 1000 likes right i will literally give this wireless keyboard and mouse combo set from zebronics to a lucky subscriber on the channel you don't need to do anything just make sure to like this video and also make sure to comment otherwise how am i going to pick the winner so it's a very nice combo set and might be useful for one of you guys out there so don't miss out this opportunity anyways moving on let's talk about the build configuration and also the components starting off with the cpu i've told you right we are using a brand new apu from amd this is a ryzen 8000 series 8500g apu and it literally has like six cores 12 threads with a max boost clock frequency of up to 5 gigahertz and good thing is it actually comes with a decent integrated gpu radeon 740m which has four gpu Course and has a clock frequency of 2800 megahertz. And I'm telling you, right? If you're looking to buy a APU around like 12, 13 thousand rupees, this might actually be like a really good choice for you. And as I've told you, I'll show you the gaming performance in a moment. But if you actually have a little more budget, maybe you can spend around like 5 thousand rupees extra, right? Go for the Ryzen 5 8600G because that comes with much better integrated graphics, Radeon 760M, which literally has eight GPU cores, double the number of GPU cores. But unfortunately, if I went for that for this build. configuration pc price would have definitely gone up to like 45 50000 rupees that is the reason i didn't go for that we'll maybe try to do a separate pc build using that if you people are interested now talking about the graphic card as i've told you there is no dedicated gpu here we'll be relying on the built in graphics in the apu and if you ask about the motherboard see for this price point i'd advise you to go for like an affordable category b650 series motherboard plenty of models are there in the market from gigabyte asus msi as well choose whichever you want to go for and which basically fits in your budget requirement The pricing of the base variant of the B650M starts around like nine thousand five hundred to ten thousand rupees, and will get your job done, guys. I mean, look at this Gigabyte B650M. It also has like Wi-Fi integration, DDR5 support is also there, and roughly costs around like nine thousand eight hundred rupees or something like that. But the model we'll be using today is their uh, B650M Aorus Elite from Gigabyte because that is the only motherboard I have right now with me. So moving on to the RAM, as I've told you, we'll be using like a newer gen platform DDR5, obviously, that too in a dual channel configuration. 
16 into 2 total 32 GB of DDR5 RAM clocked at 5200 MHz from XPG. It's a very value for money RAM in the market guys. No RGB lighting, nothing like that. And each RAM stick roughly costs around like 3500 rupees. If you're a bit tight on a budget, you can go for a single RAM stick also. But I definitely advise you to go for like two RAM sticks in dual channel configuration to get the best gaming performance on APU sort of builds. Now talking about the storage, for the storage also as I've told you, we will be using like a newer gen PCI Gen 4 SSD from Kingston. This is actually a newer model in the market, NV3, available in like different capacities from 500 GB to all the way up to 4 TB as well and offers like really good read and write speeds up to 6000 MB per second and comes at a value for money price tag. Wait a second, I haven't discussed about the cooler, right? Now this is like a very value for money, affordable category PC build. So we will not be spending any extra budget on a dedicated air or liquid cooler. In fact, we'll be using the free stock cooler that came with the APU. Good thing is AMD is still offering like free stock coolers that you're getting with these APUs and this will actually get your day to day sort of job done. But if you actually have a little bit of spare budget, maybe around like 3000 rupees extra, I definitely advise you to get like a dedicated air cooler with a decent heatsink because using that you can lightly overclock the APU and also the integrated GPU as well and squeeze out a little bit more performance. So keeping that aside, what else is left? Yes, talking about the power supply. Now ideally for this sort of configuration, right, a 450 watt power supply would easily get your job done. But since if you're actually planning for like future upgradability, maybe you're building this right now on a tight budget. In future, if you're planning to add like a GPU, right, then I would advise you to get like minimum 550 or 650 watt power supply. So you can actually be on the future proof side. And last but not the least, if you ask about the case, see if you're really tight on a budget, don't spend extra on case or RGB fancy lighting guys. Don't do that. Spend hardly around like 2,500 rupees, 3,000 rupees max and get like a basic PC case that will get your job done. The model we'll be using today is from deep cool this is also like a very affordable category pc case guys i'll leave all the links for these products in the description box below you can check it out there and that is pretty much it now without wasting any more time let's get started with the building And boys, we are finally done with the build and here's how the final gaming PC looks like. Looks pretty neat, right? And honestly, I'm saying you right. I think this is one of the easiest gaming PC we've built in the recent times. The whole process hardly took around like 20-25 minutes only because there is no dedicated GPU, no liquid cooler install, nothing, right? The wiring, cabling part was also like super simple. And talking about the looks, not bad. I mean, look at the whole PC case over here. Looks pretty neat, right? And if you're wondering which case we have used, this one is from deep cool model is macube 110 pretty decent case i would say at a reasonable price point anyways just have a look at these beautiful pc shots and i hope you enjoy the video Alright, so before we get into the benchmarks and check out the gaming performance of this system, there are a couple of settings and tweaks we can do in the BIOS to get best possible results. So as soon as you go into the BIOS, first thing you'll need to enable is XMP profile for your RAM. Otherwise, you won't be utilizing the full OC potential of your RAM kit. Keeping that aside, second thing you'll need to do is adjust the integrated graphics memory VRAM guys. So by default, it is usually set to auto and we don't want that. We want to change it from auto to minimum 6 or 8 GB. In my case, we are installing 30 32 GB of DDR5 RAM, right? So I can easily allocate 8 GB for the integrated graphics, not an issue at all. In case if you have lower RAM, maybe 16 GB, then I'd advise you to set the buffer size to a max of only up to like 4 or 6 GB to get more stable results. I know, I know you people are very excited to check out the gaming performance of this system, but first of all, let me tell you this Ryzen 8500G PC build has lots of potential and is also future upgradable. Say, suppose in future you save a bit of money and plan to purchase like a 4060 or maybe 4070 also, right? And you 
add that to this current system you can take the gaming performance of the pc to a whole new level guys you can easily do like 1440p ultra level gaming as well with triple digit fps now that is what i'm talking about if you people are really interested i can actually do that also like a part two maybe add like a gpu upgrade to this whole system and show you what sort of results you can expect let me know in the comment section down below apart from gaming you can also use it for your day-to-day -day student life or even for like creative sort of needs as well because that ryzen 8500g is a six core 12 thread cpu with a max turbo boost of up to five gigahertz right all your coding programming regular day-to-day -day sort of work and not only that even if you want to do a bit of productivity stuff maybe like photo editing or basic 1080p video editing easily can be done not an issue at all because we've got like newer gen platform right ddr5 ram pci gen 4 ssd so all of these day-to-day -day sort of works can be easily handled on this system and configuration now let's quickly jump into the gaming benchmarks and check out what sort of gaming performance we can expect over here we'll be playing a couple of triple a title games like gta spider-man and i'll also try to play cyberpunk as well and see if this integrated graphics on the 8500g can handle that at 1080p resolution and guys don't mind those weird patterns on the display it's not actually present on the display it is a weird camera phenomenon called as moir effect that develops when the pixels on the display and camera do not align with each other i've tried to eliminate that but for some reason today it was not happening so you'll have to bear with that anyways our whole focus in on the gaming performance right you can check out all the cpu stats fps at the top left corner we'll be playing all of these triple a title games at 1080p resolution only because obviously 720p zamana is gone nobody is playing games at 720p if you actually play 720p on the system right easily you will get like triple digit fps that is the reason i'm not playing 720p so gta 5 running at 1080p resolution normal graphics and as you people can see Muska performance we were getting an average of up to like 85 to 90 fps over here not bad right i mean come on we're playing the game only on integrated radeon 740m graphics and not bad amd pretty good job i would say very smooth results i didn't face any sort of lags or stutters anywhere and had a pleasant experience playing gta 5 okay gta 5 might be a bit old game let's try some new triple a titles which were recently launched let's start off with spider-man remastered so this game also we will be playing at 1080p resolution but again spider-man is a very cpu intensive game and also we don't have any dedicated gpu right? Right? that is the reason we will be using amd's fsr upscaling technology so fsr is enabled and also set to balanced profile and with these sort of settings on an average we were easily getting around like 55 to 60 fps that to a 1080p resolution not bad at all i was totally not expecting this Ryzen 8000 series APUs are pretty good I would say guys especially if you are tight on a budget and you can't spend more on a dedicated GPU you can definitely use this APU and get like decent casual sort of gaming done on this system. Not only Spider-Man I've also tried to play Cyberpunk and you people know Cyberpunk is a very graphic intensive game and even like powerful GPU struggle handling it so let's see how it goes. So this game also we were playing at native 1080p resolution and graphics obviously set to like low graphics preset mode and AMD FSR technology enabled and set to balance profile and there you go here are the results okay not bad you know initially i thought the game might run maybe around like 15 to 20 fps but it actually exceeded my expectations i mean look at that we were still getting around like 38 to 40 fps on an average on integrated graphics on that AMD APU I'm quite impressed over here guys like really paisa vasool performance you're getting without dedicated GPU what do you people think share your thoughts in the comment section down below so just like this you can play most of your favorite triple a titles aram say mix and match the graphic preset at low settings and you can easily get your job done if you're talking about esports titles maybe like valorant or even like csgo right triple digit fps not an issue at all for your information we can actually squeeze out a bit more performance out of this cpu only if we had like a better cooling solution right now we are using a stock cooler right that is the reason i have not applied any sort of overclock and amd's pbo was also disabled if you actually go to the bios and enable amd's pbo you can squeeze out up to like 10 12 percent extra performance but for that you'll obviously need like a more powerful air cooler with a larger heat sink guys so spend like two three thousand extra and you can actually squeeze out a little more performance over here so 
सो बिफोर एपिन ऑफ द वीडियो लेट्स ऑल्सो टॉक अब द प्राइजिंग डिटेल्स ए एम डीज राइजन एटी फाइव हंड्रेड जी ए पी रफली कॉस्ट अराउंड लाइक थर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज इन द इंडियन मार्केट टॉक इन अब द मदर बोर्ड आई टोल यू पीपल राइट गो फॉर लाइक एन अफोर्डेबल बी सिक्स फिफ्टी एम मदर बोर्ड मे बी लाइक दिस गिगाबाइट गेमिंग वाइफ एडिशन विच रफली कॉस्ट अराउंड लाइक नाइन थाउजेंड नाइन सेवेंटी फाइव रुपीज कमिंग टू द रैम आई टोल यू राइट वी आर यूजिंग वेरी डीआर फाइव सिक्सटीन इंटू टू थर्टी टू जीबी रैम किट फ्रॉम एक्सपी जी विच हार्डली कॉस्ट अराउंड लाइक थ्री थाउजेंड एट नाइन नाइन रुपीज एंड स्टोरेज इज फ्रॉम किंगस्टन एन वी थ्री मॉडल फाइव ट्वेल्व जीबी विच कॉस्ट अराउंड थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज फॉर दिस सॉट ऑफ कन्फिग्रेशन एज आई टोल यू फोर फिफ्टी फाइव हंड्रेड वॉट पार सप्लाई विड गेट योर जॉब डन विच कॉस्ट अराउंड लाइक थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड टू थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड बट इन केस इफ यू प्लान टू अपग्रेड द जी पी एज वेल इन फ्यूचर आई एडवाइज यू टू स्पेंड थाउजेंड रुपीज एक्स्ट्रा एंड गेट लाइक ए सिक्स फिफ्टी वॉट पार सप्लाई केस आई लिव दट चॉइस टोटली अप टू स्पेंड अराउंड लाइक टू फाइव टू थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन द रैम आई दर यू गोइंग फॉर ए सिंगल चैनल सिक्सटीन जी बी और डुअल चैनल थर्टी टू जी बी किट द प्राइस ऑफ दिस पी सी विल रफली वेरी फ्रॉम थर्टी सेवन टू फोर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज आई लिव ऑल द लिंक्स फॉर दम इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो यू कैन चेक इट आउट देर सो दैट्स इट दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर विद यू ऑल इन द वीडियो इफ यू ऑल एंजॉयड वॉचिंग इट एंड गॉट लॉट्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन मेक श्योर टू स्मैश दैट लाइक बटन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल फॉर मोर सच ऑसम वीडियोज एंड आई सी यू ऑल इन माई नेक्स्ट वन